Welcome to Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Jason Lisk. With the end of daylight savings time in a few weeks, we all turn the clocks back an hour. And with that, there's no better time to run a race in an effort to beat time. It's the Time Traveler Pi Miler race on November 1st, starting at 1.50 a.m. If you haven't figured out how this time travel is possible, Liz Lively with the Science Museum of Western Virginia is here to tell us about it. Liz, welcome to the show. Thanks so much. So this interesting titled race, interestingly titled race, uh, benefits the Science Museum. Mm -hmm. So let's start off with just a little bit about the museum and what you all do. Yeah, so the Science Museum of Western Virginia, we're in downtown Roanoke, located at Center in the Square. We have the only butterfly garden in Southwest Virginia. We have amazing interactive exhibits. We are also adding new exhibits every single month. We've added uh, several the past few weeks and we're looking forward to adding more throughout the rest of the year. Um, this is one of our big fundraisers for the museum so that we can provide outreaches to school children, um, different weekend sessions, all kinds of fun things for the kids and community. So. Okay, so some exciting things going on at the Science Museum. Yeah. Um, and this race itself is uh, the Pi Miler and it takes place at the end of daylight savings time. So what's the idea behind that and why that particular time? Well, it's very sciencey, science oriented. Um, the time traveler part comes from the fact that we're starting at 1.50 a.m. The goal is that you finish before you started, which is kind of cool. That's mm -hmm. neat, a neat way to kind of spin off daylight savings time. And then the pi miler, it's 3.14 miles. Okay. So it's almost a 5K. Um, so time traveler, pi miler race, you know, right. kind of fun. It's great. Sounds yeah. great. And some could actually finish in a negative time, I imagine. It's <laughs> so true. Could that, have a negative time. That would be me, but you know, we'll just kind of <laughs> hang out and have fun and enjoy. So. so should runners be prepared for anything special with running at that time of the night and any kind of equipment that they might need? Um, what we're asking, it is right after Halloween, so we are encouraging if anyone wants to come in their Halloween getup, come okay. on, it'll be fun. Um, anything that's lighted, that's fun, like glow sticks, hats, wrist brands, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. Definitely want to bring either a headlamp or a flashlight, um, you know, so that you can make sure and see in front of you. Mm -hmm. But if you want to dress up in any way just to be exciting and entertaining, we encourage it. Okay, so you could have a few Doc Browns running around out there. Totally, totally. <laughs> uh, and what, what kind of turnout did you have last year? This is the second year, so what, what happened last year? Last year we had about 250 runners, and we had amazing feedback. The only thing that uh, we can account for, it was a little bit chilly, um, so I'm just kind of crossing my fingers and praying to the weather gods that it's going to be a little bit warmer, um, but we're hoping for 500 runners. So we'd love to see the race increase year after year. We are thankful to some of our sponsors. Runabout um, Sports has come on board as, as one of our big sponsors, and, and they're you know, promoting and whatnot, so we're pumped about that. Okay, and when, and you already said when, but go ahead and tell us again, when and where will the, this be, and is there a cost? There is a cost. Um, you can register online at the Science Museum now. There's an early bird registration, and then as we get closer, there'll be a day, and you can still register the day of if you decide on Halloween that you want to go out and then come and run. Um, it's November 1st, Saturday, Sunday morning, November 1st, 1.50 a.m. at River's Edge. Okay, so. great. And... Um, the proceeds benefit the Science Museum. Everything goes back into and science. And you mentioned, uh, I think you mentioned that, but what is the overall goal? I mean, you're looking for more runners, but, mm -hmm. but dollar-wise, what's the goal and what will those funds be used for? We'd love to reach $10,000. Um, we're about halfway there right now, but we'd love to reach 10000 and adding more runners is going to be a, a key way to do that. Everyone does get a t-shirt, which is super fun. Um, all the proceeds will go back to the museum, and the big goal is to create and engage students, so by bringing in more interactive and engaging exhibits. And that's what we're focused on over the next year. So. Okay, great. And you mentioned that you're going to have a special guest runner. Is that right? Yeah, I think his name is Dr. Who. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. And yeah. um, who's playing Dr. Who? Can you, is you know, that's a secret. Okay. As of right that's now, that's still a little bit of a secret. Yeah. All right. So it might be a little chilly out, so runners should also probably think about that as far as yeah. their running attire and so forth. Yep. All right. Well, Liz, thank you for stopping by to tell us about the race. Thank you very much. Be an adventurer. Join the Science Museum of Western Virginia for the second annual Time Traveler Pi Miler, a 3.14-mile race to beat time, November 1st, starting at 1.50 a.m. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Lisk. This is Round Roanoke, only on Cox 9.